The Bible says in the book of Second Chronicle, chapter 20, verse 20, the Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in your prophets, so shall you prosper. How many people are believing in their prophets today? How many people have that trust in their prophet or in their pastor? How many people even believe in the anointing of their prophet? How many people are really supporting the dreams or the agenda of the prophet? In fact, how many people are really, you know, obeying what the prophet told them to do? And with this, by the grace of God, I bring to you, to you all to another year of dream interpretation. And today, we'll be talking about dreaming about pastor. Dreaming about pastor. <laughs> pastor in the dream. A prince. A pastor is there to pray for us. A pastor is there to guide the flocks, to guide us. The pastor is there, you know, to anoint us and to keep the church together. The church is the spiritual head of the church. Praise the living Jesus. Now, in this aspect, when you are dreaming about a pastor conducting deliverance for you in the dream, that one is good. The Bible says something about deliverance. But upon Mozan there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. See, if that pastor is conducting deliverance for you, on you, in the dream, it's good. That signifies that the pastor has been attached to you to conduct deliverance for you. And it doesn't stop that way. Maybe if you if you see that pastor, it's a, it's a, it's a popular pastor, it's a known pastor, and you see that pastor, you know, conducted deliverance on you in the dream, then what that dream is telling you now is a deep reflection or revelation that you should go to that pastor, to, to go and meet that pastor one-on-one -on -one in his church. Maybe he can conduct deliverance for you. Or in most cases, if you are very far away from the pastor, from the priest, you can buy his books, which I know can be another avenue where you can get your deliverance, you can get your blessings. You can watch his, his satellites. It can also be another avenue of tapping from his anointing. You understand? That doesn't mean that you have to leave your country and start go and look, at, start searching for the pastor. No, as your spirit leads you, you can go and meet the pastor. Maybe he's, he's anointed man of God to pray for you to conduct deliverance for you. It could be that that ministry is attached to your deliverance. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. Now, in this aspect of the pastor, maybe if if you discover that the pastor you, you haven't dreaming about, you, you do not even know the pastor. It's, it's strange. You don't even know the pastor. It's conduct deliverance on you. That one is strange. That one is a bad dream. You don't know the pastor. It just conduct deliverance for you. Ah, it's bad. It signifies what they call the false prophet. It means that you have, a, you have maybe, or maybe the enemy is even pushing you to the false prophet based on your problems. The problems of life, the affliction that is too much that no one can even be there. No pastor is there to even listen to you. So because of that, because of frustration and depression, you find yourself in the midst before this false prophet. So it could be that you have already, you know, met this false prophet and what they pass through you is the spirit of the marine. So which is not good. So you have to bind and cast out those spirits evil laying on hand of the first prophet. So any prophet or any man of God that lay hand on you in the dream is bad. Especially if you cannot see the person's face. So I want to put a challenge on you. Somebody you don't know. Somebody you don't know. Maybe all of a sudden, maybe as you are walking on the road, maybe you just hear this uh, local pastor just preaching. This, I don't want to mention church. Just preaching, praying on the road, on the streets. You just walk up to you and started laying hands in sand on you. Does does that seem good to you? That is strange. No matter how genuine is that pastor, you don't do something like that. No matter how how anointed you are, maybe you are in the spirit. No, it shows that that's best prophet. It says strange to you. 
So in that dream, if somebody is conducting deliverance on you, you don't know. It's a stranger. It's a false prophet. And the Bible says something about the false prophet. The Bible says, beware of them. Those that are hiding themselves in sheep glory. You have to beware of them. So if you see a pastor praying for you, a person you know, you're praying for you. See, all these prophets that I'm talking about, you have to know them. Do you understand? I want to take note of that. You have to know. You have to know that, ah, somebody is, I know this person. I know this man of God is praying for me. You have to know them. If you don't know them, no matter the prayer they are praying on you, they are, it's rubbish. You have to know this pastor. If it's Pastor Dodiko Lukoya, Pastor Adeboye, Pastor Bishop Oyedeko praying for you, that one is, everybody knows his identity as they are recognized men of God. But you don't know somebody is praying for you. Everybody can pray for you. Even Satan can pray for you in a dream. Satan can put on uh, regalian, you know, and be praying for you. And you say, you conclude that pastor has prayed for me in a dream. And you, re and you rest and say, oh God, no. You must know the person. Your spirit must move with that spirit. So if a known man of God is praying for you and you are set with that spirit, it means that the man of God is really interceding for you or is interceding for all his members. And the and the prayer for all his members, the general prayer for all his members, little by little is extending to your own side, maybe your pastor. So don't conclude that if any strange any strange person you don't know praying for you is 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 ah, I'm I'm blessed. No. You have to know the person. Praise the living Jesus. Now at the same time, <laughs> this one is so funny. When you dream about pastor, you know, having sex with you, maybe as a woman, I know that one normally happens to women, you know, seeking for deliverance everywhere. Now, that one is rampant now, everywhere, every corners, every pastor, every church is rising, new new churches, or the generational churches. You dream as a woman, you, you, you are having sex, or a pastor is kissing you. You have to be very, you have, you have to be aware of yourself. Not every man of God. That is calling Jesus Jesus Christ is a true man of God. You have to test his spirit. You have to test his. You have to test his faith. If a man of God, maybe after that dream, a, a man of God is having sex with you, and uh, maybe later, later, a man of God said, "Ah, please come to my office. I want to see you. Please don't go." Because that revelation that was shown to you is just for you to beware. You, just for you to avert that activity that is coming to you. So if that man of God is telling you to come to his office, you want, he just call you. Just please come. Oh, my daughter, come. No, you don't have to go. Please pray for me over the phone. Because no matter how anointed a man of God is, if such a person did not control his flesh, I am telling you such a man of God will come down and mess, up, and mess you up. I pray any false prophet that has been assigned against you, I command that false prophet I command this anointing to fade away on your life. Every evil laying your hand upon your life, I command that evil anointing to expire in the name of Jesus Christ. So all these dreams I'm talking about, the good side is you have to know the prophet one-on-one. -on -one. You have to know somebody, ah, this is a renowned man of God prophet or somebody. Now, at the same time, when, when you dream about your pastor fighting you, you and your pastor, you are fighting. <laughs> That's a rebellious spirit. It means your spirit does not agree with that pastor. Or maybe there's an issue between you and that pastor that will bring break up. So if you are under his ministry and a pastor is fighting you in the dream, it means that ministry is not of God. You have to put, in fact, there's a time for you to separate yourself from that ministry. Because a pastor is fighting you in the dream, sometimes it could be devil. But if such a dream is recurrent, it's recurring every time a pastor is fighting you or you are fighting pastor, it's like both of your spirits are not agreeing. And you feel that being in that church, you did not see any impact in your life. There's no your prayer life is down. There's no even, there's no even point. There's no even reason of, of 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 worshiping in that church. Then you have to leave. The signal, it's a first signal. That, that the anointing of that man of God is under questionable. It's under under investigation. I pray you now find yourself in the church of demons, of occultic. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not find yourself in the place of a cultic. In the name of Jesus Christ. And at the same time, when a pastor is anointing you. You have to know the pastor. If it's a known pastor anointing you in a life service. That one is good. And you discover that this pastor has a good anointing. 
and your spirit move with that spirit, then a pastor is praying for you, anointing you, it means that the Lord is gradually pushing you under the anointing of that man of God for his impartation upon your life. If the pastor is closer to you, closer to your home, you have to go and meet the pastor. If, it's, if the pastor is accessible, you have to go and meet him. Ah, pastor, I see you in your dream. I normally say that to women. Oh, man of God, I see you in your dream. Please pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. If you miss such a man of God, just a word of decree. It is already established in heaven. Why? Because the Lord has already shown you in your dream. I pray the prophet of your destiny, may you locate them in the name of Jesus. Just as, uh, what is it called? Just as uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah located his prophet of destiny. I pray we locate your home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There are many dreams about pastors. And, uh, and um, when you find yourself in a church, for example now, you find yourself in a church, you are not progressing in that church. It's a sign for you to leave that church. Despite the fact that that church is good, they appreciate the Bible, it means that you are not you are not you are not in good terms because like there's a politics in that church which is not which is not in good terms with your spirit. The church is good, but you have to move away from that particular church to another branch of that church. Do you understand? This is a Bible believing church. You have to leave that church and to the Bible believing to to the branch of that church. Praise the Lord. Because there, no, it's not every time, it's not every branch. There's always be a politics. Praise the living Jesus. So, so finding yourself in a prophet home, prophet house, prayer house that is fake, or a man of God or false prophet is buffing you in your dream, buffing you in the river. Maybe all this fake, fake prophet everywhere. They say, ah, my sister, please. Today, you bring sponge, native sponge. You bring, you bring native dress or black soap. We are going to a beach. Want to go and bath? Want to go and bath you? Spiritual bit is bad. That in fact, that one you are adding more sorrow into your life. Why would you even do that? How? Why? Where is even written in the Bible that somebody have to go and bath? And I think the 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 wrong perspective of some men of God right now is when uh, when uh, Nehemiah went to the to deep himself in the River Jordan, so they feel that it's a spiritual bath. No, that's not spiritual bath. So please don't allow any prophet to deceive you. There's nothing like spiritual bath as a as a as a as a point, as a yastic for deliverance. When you want to conduct your want to do your deliverance, go and meet a genuine man of God. Conduct deliverance for you through the Bible and prayer points. Don't allow anybody to deceive you, going to sponge, taking sponge. And if you are already under their control right now, maybe you have the, you have already be, they are already beaten you in your in your dream or in the physical world. You have to go for deliverance. But I know that one is a deliverance, of course. You have to go. You have to go. You have to go for the real deliverance this time around. Real deliverance in MFA, Mountain of Fire. You have to go there and set to yourself, set to your deliverance there. And I pray that the Lord will really, really deliver you from all this. Uh, rising of fake prophets in our society today in the name of jesus christ so and at the same time you you dream about your you dream about a pastor in an awkward meeting maybe in, a, in an awkward a pastor you know the pastor maybe it's your pastor or you see one of these pastors you normally see on tv screen or magazine ah look at this pastor awkward then and the Lord, the Lord is showing you that that person's hand is anointing, it's not clean. So you have to beware of that person. Oh, the Lord is showing you in your dream. It's a warning for you to stay away from such men of God. You have to stay away from such men of God. So, and at the same time, when you dream about a pastor dead, just this, a pastor is dead. Ha, ah, that one is a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Despite the fact that the enemy. The enemy might use his face, but it's a signal that the enemy is, is attacking that pastor. It's a signal that it's, it's, like, it's like a sign that that pastor is under severe attack. Do you understand? It may not be even shown on his face, but it's under severe attack. You have to pray. You, have to, you, have, you, you, you dream about your pastor in a critical condition. Maybe he's, he's sick or he has been taken to hospital. You have to pray for his divine healing. It's despite the fact that it's not even shown. In the physical, in his, in his church, you have to pray 
pray intercede for him just like a prayer of intercessory for your pastor and for every other pastor generally who are whom you are under the anointed under the anointing so that their grace and the anointing will continue to be working on your life in jesus name we pray so i think these are the the dreams i've received so far concerning the dream about pastor i know that this broadcast has been a lot of blessings to you about the dream about pastor i know that as you have hooked up to this station or to this channel in fact <laughs> The Lord will continue to open your spiritual understanding in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, write a dream or dreams about pastor, prophet, you are fake prophet, you experience with some fake prophet. Don't mention names, don't mention church. Write it on the, at the comment section and by the grace of God, I will definitely supply you with my own comment. God bless you. Remain blessed. Invite your friends, invite your family, your friends, your, your enemies, and everybody to subscribe to this channel. God bless you. In Jesus' name, this is Evangelist Joshua, broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs>